the end always justify the means. Today we will address three critical subjects of urgent public importance in the ecosystem. The first is the ongoing fisty call between bundle heads and fellow bundle heads. Then the non clearance of some NGO CEOs in the UAAG app for disbursement. And thirdly, dates of disbursement of UAAG grants. Let's quickly address the first subject of this session, which is the ongoing fisty calls between bundle heads and bundle heads. A few weeks ago, bundle heads were in intense fight with NGO CEOs. Some even raised petitions against the NGOs. But currently, the tide is turning. Bundle heads are equally raising cases against fellow bundle heads. One certain NGO CEO reported to Om Julia TV that a certain grant subscriber is showing up to request for him to be added to his WhatsApp group to keep tab of the grant progresses towards his disbursement. And when he checked his uh, schedule, his name was not found. On deeper investigation, it discovered that this particular grant subscriber is actually a third-party interloper who subscribed through another bundle head but refused to be added by this bundle head in the NGO WhatsApp group for updates. Out of curiousness, this grant subscriber uh, decided to make further investigation to find out where this NGO CEO is using the Excel templates that this photo earlier forwarded to this subscriber to confirm if his account details is captured sometime last year and the phone number of this NGO CEO was there. We needed to uncover why this particular one who had refused to add his grand subscriber or a fellow bundle head which he actually took money from to the NGO WhatsApp group. In this investigation, it was discovered that this bundle head actually charged the sum of 20,000 naira from this fellow bundle head and then later remitted 2,000 naira to the NGO CEO. He never wanted this bundle head to discover how much he charged him. Hence the reason why he restricted him access from the NGO platform. Unknowingly to him that the uh, social media is just like an open marketplace. There are always several gateways to access the shops. This one who has finally used one of the gateways to access the NGO CEOs and discover that his name is not in the NGO list for one who had disbursement. And secondly, that the one who had charged him hilariously 20,000 and remitting only 2,000 to the NGO. Currently, there is pandemonium in the ecosystem. This is not just peculiar to this bundle head and bundle head or the NGO. It is much the same story across several NGO and bundle heads in the ecosystem. Bundle heads way. Are tagging the CEOs as criminals. It's now a scenario of a keto calling a pot black. Some bundle heads are equally engaging in criminally extortive behavior of fellow grand subscribers or bundle heads, charging them hilarious amounts of money and remitting tokens to the NGO CEOs, using the money of fellow grand subscribers to register themselves and family members. This scenario is actually coming to bear because the circulating rumors that NGO CEOs are going to be allocated to just one body from the UA AG and some NGOs are actually calling for few account details, some are requesting for five account details from bundle heads who have several slots with them. And with the, uh, with the bundle head account details standing first and other few ones coming behind that. And some of the grand subscribers who paid money through this bundle heads are not captured at all. Therefore, at the eve of this disbursement that some NGO are calling for few account details for some bundle heads, 
to follow X and selecting only few of their relatives and their own account details to the NGO, leaving behind other grant subscribers who actually pay money to them to subscribe to the NGO. All being a calculated attempt from some bundle heads to deny other of their subscribers the privilege of earning or receiving these grants. Uh, in the preceding weeks, one of them were accusing the NGO CEOs of going to truncate their entitlements. And now, some bundle heads are accusing fellow bundle heads of going to truncate their privilege of accessing or becoming a beneficiary of these grants by not including their name among the priority account details to be submitted to their NGO for disbursement. We are actually aware of this particular case because the Excel template of this NGO was in the custody of this bundle text and he actually has the phone number of the NGO CEOs. Now the question is, what about other bundle heads or grant subscribers who subscribe through one particular bundle head and they don't have the phone number of the NGO CEO they subscribe with and are still expecting to receive this grant but will never receive because some of these bundle heads have screened some of these account details and capture only their close affiliates, their relatives and their family members. I pray that bundle heads should not equally sponsor petition against fellow bundle heads in this ecosystem. But to resolve this issue, it's advisable for all parties, whether you were a third party bundle head or a second or first party bundle head, to maintain status of patience and silence until allocation of bundles to the NGO. And it is equally important for NGO CEOs to suspend calling for account details from bundle heads who have 50 bundles, 80 or 20 bundles at the moment, pending allocation of bundles to NGOs by UK agents. Hence, you will adjust your allocation of slots to your bundle heads based on the total number of slots allocated to you for this prospect. The only obscure waters at this hour when we haven't actually seen the bundles allocated to NGO in the first instance. Now let's quickly address the second concern of this session, which is uh, the non-clearance of some NGO CEOs in the UAHR. A few hours ago, there was a notice or some NGO got cleared in the app for disbursement, while some were not cleared. Those that are not cleared have already flaunted uh, four or five of those basic requirements by the UK AG in the app. It was requested that all NGO CEOs should submit their name their BBN, their NGO account details as it tallies with their NGO name. But unfortunately, some NGO CEOs out of perhaps oversight interchange the name for BBN. There are scenarios where some NGO CEOs capture their name in the BBN column while the BBN is captured in the name column. Those inconsistencies becomes one of the reasons why you are not cleared, where your status is not cleared for disbursement. Two, there are instances if you are among those that are not cleared, check your account number. Some account number are already dormant and when it is checked by the bank for disbursement, it is discovered invalid. Those invalid account details becomes one of those reasons why you are not cleared for disbursement. So go to your bank and reactivate your NGO account number. Then there are instances where some NGO misplaced the bank name with the account number. Your account is for Zenith Bank while you induce FCMB. We confirm again if, if your account number of FCMB is stated as FCMB in the bank name. Three. The issue of not updating any of the BBN or name at all in the appropriate column.
check back. Sometimes some NGO actually thinks they have uploaded their BBN and name or account number. Unknowingly that, since their cash in the phone haven't been cleared over time, those account details are not actually uploaded to the access of the UAGICT. In this instance, all you need to do is to clear the cash of your phone. Follow the simple protocols of clearing cash. This is applicable to all Android users, whether you are NGO CEO or not. Sometimes you discover that you are searching for web pages and it is not available. Your cache is not updated. Go to your phone settings in the home screen. Click on internal storage. Order application. Click on Chrome in the whole template of applications found there. Then there are two options when you click on Chrome, clear data or clear cache. If you choose to clear all data in your Chrome, then select clear data. It will wipe off both the data and the cache. If you don't want to lose other uh, web pages that you have saved in your Chrome history, only click clear cache while you reserve the data in the history column. If you have carried out these four basic activities and your status is not still updated. Use your friend's phone and log in using your password and email address. Since it is a new phone, it will automatically see your site as a new page. There are NGO CEOs who were not clear yesterday, but when they log in with a different device, they see that they were already clear. You have carried out all these activities and your status is still not clear. You can then approach the UAAG ICT. As an NGO CEO, you know the appropriate channel to respect. In my own experience in the ICT field, if you make correction of your account number, your BBN, or your name, and make sure that they are intact and correct and fully matched with the appropriate bank name, your status will automatically be cleared without like, the notification of the UAAG ICT. Because there is a line of code that has already been programmed and activated in the app to update all status of accounts that meet up the appropriate requirements. So you don't need to involve the new energy, it's just a matter of a few hours after you have provided the right details for your, for your status to be uh, updated, cleared for this process. Now let's address the final concept of this session, which is of utmost public importance to all grant subscribers in the ecosystem. When is this placement taking place? Those NGOs who have not been cleared are actually praying for this placement not to happen right now. Hence, they will fall at the post to be disposed to. While those who have already been played are wishing the disbursement should start immediately. The audience of grant subscribers who are not in the picture of whether the NGO is played or not played wishes the disbursement should take place immediately. But the reality is, UAAG will not want to activate the disbursement button if every NGO hasn't attained the clear status, hence they won't leave any NGO behind. Remember, when this disbursement commences, there will be no avenue to address issues of non-disbursement of these grants to any NGO because everyone at that moment will be at risk. When I mean everyone, both the UN AGT team or committee that should have addressed this issue including the NGO CEOs that is not disposed to, everyone will be at risk. You can be kidnapped on the way to going to this uh, resolution committee and you will never see the grant. Hence the reason why I think the UNAG is trying to ensure everyone is captured, cleared, before they activate the button. In such a case, we are not anticipating this prospect to start today, but immediately the 24 hours that they give to all those unclaimed NGOs expires, they will kickstart the disbursement of the grant. So it's pertinent for every subscriber having gone to this 
stages of streak of successes from last week to this hour. Having seen NGOs being cleared for disbursement, it is glaringly obvious for everyone that disbursement is going to take place in the time place expected by anyone. Just as the declarance for the NGO came up in the least unexpected moment few hours ago, so do disbursement will take everyone just like labor camps.